Hello everyone, Iwamadoki here. We're going to play a game from my childhood. Donkey Kong Country. It's a game about monkeys. One player because I'm lonely. And we're going to start off in the Congo jungle in the, ju the level jungle hijinks. Donkey Kong Country. It has a story. All we need to know is walk to the left. Our banana horde has been stolen and we're going to retrieve it. That's the entire goal. Donkey Kong can jump. He can roll. That's all you need. Well, until you find some barrels and you find out that you can throw. You can go back into the house for a quick extra life. And... Also, you can crouch and slam the ground, but it's not that important. If you do it on an enemy, it will give you a banana. 100 bananas will result in extra life. Breaking these DK barrels will grant you Diddy. You, you can switch between Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong by pressing the select button. Diddy is more acrobatic and... Diddy is more acrobatic, but Diddy cannot hurt certain enemies like these. Clumps. And that's a bit of the, that's all you need to know. There's animal friends, uh, and there's a lot of secrets. There are way too many secrets in this game. To gain to gain 101 percent, as the game calls it, or just 100 percent, it means you have to find all the secrets. But it's not really worth it. Worth it in this game. The Sequels have a better plan for, and it's me failing a mini game. The sequel has a better reward for beating the, collecting all the secrets. In this game, I'm just going to play straight to the end and only go to the secrets that I know. And we're already past the first stage. On to Ropey Rampage. And uh, you a big frame rate drop, which for some reason I'm getting. Never got that on the original game. Must be an emulator flaw. Um, those um I forgot the name of the real animal. <laughs> um, oh, whatever. You cannot jump on them. Well, you can jump on the on them as Donkey Kong and beat them in one hit but if you jump on them while they're rolling as Diddy they will only get knocked back little secret here just go between the, these trees and we can collect bananas bananas are the form of coins in this game collecting 100 will just result in extra life nothing special they don't have anything to do with Donkey Kong's missing banana horde But about the thieves, the people that stole our bananas. It's the Kremlin crew that. Oh, yeah, the animal. It's an armadillo, finally remembered. The Kremlin crew, which is led by the fearsome King K. Rule, is the one that stole our bananas. Another bonus. You're going to hear that a lot in this game. Uh, the, another bonus, because they're scattered everywhere. This one's simple, just look at where the balloon is less than, hit it. Don't know how it will turn out on YouTube, since YouTube has problems with games that flash a lot. But either way, it's a nice game. You can, you can roll on enemies, you can jump on them. Collecting all four Kong ladders in a level will result in extra life. And here we have our first NPC that we can visit. It's Cranky Kong. Cranky Kong. He was the original Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong arcade games and NES games. And we're supposed to be Donkey Kong Jr. But all he does is complain and sometimes give hints about where the secrets are. So I won't be visiting him that much since I'm not looking for all the secrets. 
All he does is complain about how the bananas in this game have more colors than he did when he was in the... When he was busy. And how he's complaining about 64-bit. So we're just going to leave. All he does is tell secrets during his nagging. We're going to Reptal Rumble. Reptile Rumble is the first cave team stage. If you are able to carry this barrel along with you, you can go to the secret in there. Which will grant you an extra life. But that's all the secret has to offer. 10 bananas extra life. We'll skip a bit of the level for you. And going to the left here will give you an extra bonus. We'll just jump in the barrel and get all the bananas. And let's continue, shall we? And Donkey Kong Country. Most people remember it for its gameplay and its graphics, since this is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System we're talking about, which is a 16-bit console. So these graphics, they're quite out of the ordinaire. And the gameplay is also just great. Killing these snakes. I believe. Yeah, there's a secret over here. Yeah. All it does is give more bananas, I think. These bees, they can only be hurt with barrels, so just avoid them. That's what they're meant to be. If you collect three of the shiny golden animal body statues. You will be warped to a special stage where it could be for a kiss or no, it's just collecting. It's collecting stars for money and for lives. It's not all about the money. And we're at Coral Capers, a water level. And it has great music. The Donkey Kong Country series has great music, composed by David Wise. Oh, I see. Well, just search up genius in the dictionary. He'll be there. He's the definition of musical genius. And there's a croctopus. They just go around in a set pattern. This little secret just gives bananas. I believe the underwater stages don't have any secrets, which will grant you extra percentage, so... All these secrets are just for fun and lives. Which, if you're good enough, you're going to get around to 70 or so in one playthrough. We're on, here we have on guard. On guard, he is our only way of defending ourselves underwater against all the piranhas, young sharks, and adult sharks. And. This music, it always makes me, it makes me something. If you get hit on, well, on an animal body, he will run away, you can get on him again. But, he, the animal bodies count as extra hits, uh, as to simplify them. They all have a unique way of attacking, except for one which will come up in a later episode. Which, well, I'll talk about it when we get there. But meanwhile, this music. And, well, we're going to see more about these clams in the later world. But, where game. These arrow signs always tell you if you're near the end of the stage, and this exit sign tells you you're at the end of the stage. Well, I think I've been playing for long enough right now, so I'm going to end it here at Funky's Flight. So, see you next time when we continue to the Barrel Cannon Canyon. <laughs>